If you follow me on Twitter, which will be always left in the description down below if you want to give it a follow, thanks, I appreciate it. Some of y'all may already know that I am going to Ark Rebel, which is starring in November, and it will be my first ever FGC event. I am attending for a BB tag with Aurie and Blake, and Guilty Gear Rev 2 with uh, Dizzy. Of course, I'm gonna be practicing more in BB Tag because BB Tag is my favorite game and I'm more used to their mechanics more. And I'm really, really excited to play Yumi there. I think I think she's playable there, right? Yeah, I think she is. You know, some may say I'm foolish because if you want to compete at one of those games, Guilty Gear, BB Tag, and uh, Blaze Blue, you have to pay 20 bucks. That's how you like want to be in the brackets, you know? So some may call me foolish for doing that because since I'm expecting to lose in the first round, why not just watch them play, you know what I mean? And I'm like, yeah, you know, you have a point, but I don't know, I want to give it a shot. If I make it past the first round, sweet. If I don't, oh well. I think the first thing I should experience firsthand going into my first FGC event is meeting all the people I met on Twitter. You know, that, that would be pretty awesome, get some photos out. Pretty cool. Hey, I may be famous one day. I I hope. I mean, yeah. I have been practicing. I, I I really did. I have been practicing BB Tag and Guilty Gear. Brother, there's one problem. I do not understand the fighting game language. What is this fighting game language? Noel, are you on crack? No, I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm not. Okay, take a look at this photograph. The numeric annotation system. As you look at the map, you can see 8 means up, 4 means left, 6 means right, and 2 means down. What does the 5 mean? It means you didn't, you have no movement, you're just in a standstill like Bruce Lee when he became one with water. Okay, so now all of us, including myself, understand that those numbers represent the movement. Okay, well what about the buttons on the PlayStation? Square, triangle, circle, and X. Very simple. Do you know the first letter of the alphabet? That's right, A, B, C, and D. A is the square, B is the triangle, C is the circle, D is the X. How do I know that? Because I do. I just figured it out just now. Although we have learned the movement numbers and the attacking strikes of the alphabet, we have yet to learn everything. Do we comprehend? Do we understand? Is what Obi-Wan would say too. And again, the chosen one, Skywalker. So let's start off by doing this. I took a screenshot of BB Tag Oreo combos made by Sakasama. And as you can see at the bottom, it says 5 A A A A. That means he didn't move at all and just press square four times. You may be thinking, damn, Master Noel. First of all, I am no master, I am a Padawan just like you guys. Second of all, it is because I believe that there are no chosen ones and that I will hope that someday all of you will surpass me. Now that I have gained your confidence, let us begin. 5 A A A Neutral Square 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 After that, you start with Neutral Triangle Triangle After that, Down Circle Leading towards 2B from Nier Automata Psych! I only wish she was in BB Tag, but hey, she in Soul Calibur 6 with my waifu. You know, hey, I'm getting off topic. Forgive D, forgive Anime Noel. Okay, this is what separates the men from the boys. Look at that lowercase JC. What does JC stand for? Muy bien. It stands for Jump Cancel. What the heck does the J stand for though? Well, it turns out the capital J means that you are attacking while on the air. So lowercase jc can be referred as 8, so 8 j a a, 8 meaning jump, so this character pressed the jump button. The capital j a a means this person pressed square twice while in the air. Alright knowing that, let's skip to 214b. Basically what the player did in a circular motion went from down to the left, see look at the chart, 2, 1, 4. And this person is doing all that while pressing triangle in the process. Okay. Let's see some movement. Now, shall we? I will do my best to stop at every point where it goes to the next step. Here we go. Oh my goodness. So we're starting with 5 triple A. 5 BB. 
2C, 2B, jump castle A, A, J, B, jump castle A, A, J, C, J, B, 2B, 214B, and B. There you go. I hope y'all understand that. If you know and memorize the numeral for the movements and the A, B, C, D with the J, C stand for jump castle, you will understand when you watch other people's video on how to do combos for the specific characters you are looking for. And that's what I like about freaking videos that do that, you know? Because some of them, oh my god, they be like, why don't you learn yourself? Look at this amazing combo, and you tell me. You tell me. Only a Sith deals in absolute. I will do what I must.